Hello everyone, Helen here. Thanks for stopping by to spend a little bit of your time with me. It's so lovely to have you here. It's very nice to know that I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> uh, so it is going to be a short podcast this week and next week as well. And I'll explain more about that shortly. Uh, so I've got a couple of finished projects to share with you today, both knitting ones. And, and then I'm just going to chat a bit about how I sometimes slow myself down a bit when life starts to get a bit fast <laughs> and a bit full. So, uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, just sit back and relax for a little while. And I'll, first of all, I'll, I'll show you the things that I've finished. One of them I showed you last week and one of them I haven't even started last week. So my first finished project is my September gnome. Yes, and I know it's uh, <clears throat> getting towards the end of October, but uh, yeah, here he is finished at last. And, and I mean, I haven't made a start on an October gnome yet. So, uh, but I am determined to have one gnome for each month of the year this year. So it will get done at some point. I mean, I showed uh, the gnome briefly last time and all I needed to do was make his legs, uh, which didn't, didn't take me very long at all. So, and I think I said last time the uh, the yarn I bought just as a kit to make this gnome from Lucy Lockett Land. And uh, I did have a bit of a problem with the beard because I hadn't done a beard like this before with big loopy bits in it. Um, so my first one was a complete failure because when I when I pulled the yarn to make the loops all come out, uh, the whole thing came out. So anyway, I reread the instructions and got it right the second time. So yeah, so he's lovely. I haven't actually the only thing I haven't done actually is to embroider on the buckle for his belt, but I might just leave him like that. So that is him and. You can just sit there for a moment. The other thing that I've finished and which I hadn't even started last time I spoke to you uh, is just a pair of mitts. And if you've been watching me regularly, you might recognise this yarn. Uh, it was the yarn that I bought while I was on holiday in the Southern Hebrides uh, last month. And yes, I bought this from a, a wool and craft shop that we stopped by and the it was locally spun yarn from sheep that just lived just over the way from the shop. So it was really, really local. Um, I wasn't sure what it would be like to knit with. I hadn't used yarn like this before, which was uh, very, I don't know what you would call it. I think I said last time that there were lump, lump, ugh, lumps in it <laughs> called, uh, which I think are called neps. But I'm not sure you'd even describe this yarn as that one. Once I kind of started looking at the strands it's it goes very thin in places and very thick in other places so yeah it's ended up with a very <laughs> rustic look it was it was no problem to knit with uh, and yeah it kind of gives it quite a lumpy look to the mitts but I think they're rather lovely uh, as my daughter said when I showed her a photo she said they look very squishy and warm and I think they will be warm and uh, I used a free pattern from Ravelry and I, I will put a link to it in the description box as I usually do. And um, yeah, so I can recommend the knits. I think the only thing I'd do differently if I make them again is to switch to a smaller uh, needle for the top because it's just a bit, it's a little bit floppy, not, not very, but um, just a little bit. But, uh, I'm really pleased with them. Nice and warm, nice and warm for the cooler days. So that's that's my makes for this week. And yeah, so in a few days time, I'm going away uh, for a couple of short breaks, one after another. So um, I've actually got an extra busy week this week. I'm trying to, I'm making this podcast and I'm trying to make another one. Uh, that I can just schedule for while I'm away and uh, so that has filled up a lot of extra time this week <laughs> and you know sometimes that happens that 
you can just be going along at a nice steady pace and you can fit things in more or less and then life just seems to uh, increase in pace and you know, there's lots of stuff packed in and then you think oh no I don't know and you can get in a right right old spin well if you're me you can um, <laughs> and and just uh, you then really need to force yourself to slow down and I can do that I have lots of strategies for doing that um, I think it is worse at this time of the year when we have the mm, is it pressure yeah sort of pressure of Christmas approaching um, although not as far as making things, I've been making things all through the year that I'll be giving as gifts, but I don't know, it's just knowing it's there and knowing that you're going to uh, do all sorts of special things for, for that festive season. And I think it's not just that, I think it's that psychological thing of the year is coming to an end, you know the year is coming to an end, and you might have had all your lists of things that you would I like to get done this year and the, the end of the year is drawing closer and you think oh I haven't done this or this or this and uh, you know you, you can really um, yeah think things can get a little bit out of hand and you just have to stop yourself and say okay then let's just slow down let's just look at this sensibly and so I was really really feeling like that a, a couple of days ago so I decided that, well, one of my strategies is always go out for a walk. So, which might seem a bit strange because you've got loads to do. It's very easy just to skip my walk and, um, you know, because I'm trying to pack more things into the day. But actually it, it, it's, it has a really beneficial effect if I get myself out on a walk. And I decided to go on a noticing walk. So sometimes I go out for a walk and I'm just walking and enjoying all everything around me. Sometimes I really like um, I really like to notice something in particular. So I think some of my recent walks I've been I've just been on the hunt for toadstools and mushrooms because there's lots of them about at the moment. Um, but when I went on this walk the other day, when my mind was just racing around with all the things I had to try and fit in, uh, I decided that I would go and notice something in, in particular, J just so I had an extra focus for my walk. Uh, I decided to notice tree bark. So I just kept stopping and, you know, looking at the tree. I'd stop by trees and I would stroke them and, uh, and just start noticing all the differences between them and noticing what was growing on it um, and if there was anything living there, if there were any little spiders or other insects. So I just had a really lovely time and I was out for longer than usual, but I didn't panic when I got back. Um, I just thought, I just felt really good. My head felt much clearer and it really was the right thing for me to do. And so I, so I do try and make sure I have times in my week where I, I do do nothing or I obviously I sit and knit and things um, or, or just sit really quietly. I have my weekly yoga, which you might have heard me mention before. And that is a real oasis in the middle of the week. It's on Zoom. I have my room here set up for my yoga session and the yoga teacher is so lovely she's very nurturing she's a very mindful person and she just is so good at helping helping us to focus on on, on kind of our inner self and or maybe she'll have a focus on breathing and yeah the rest of the world just goes goes fades away in, into the background while while we're doing these yoga sessions but also uh, I've, I've bought something a treat for myself recently uh, uh, which I thought would be helpful and has turned out to be really helpful uh, it, it's a just a wooden board which you hopefully you can see here now <laughs> with uh, with um, a kind of a little track carved into it and inhale and exhale written uh, between uh, the, the, the two loops 
And the idea is that you just run your finger along while you breathe round the inhale and you breathe in slowly. And then you run your finger around the exhale as you're breathing out and just do that. And honestly, I don't need to do that for very long before I really start to calm right down. And so doing it is, is really helpful. But in fact, I found that just having it, it within my line of sight, um, especially if I'm in here, uh, it just reminds me. I can just see it and think, OK, I need to breathe, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> and yeah, so I have found that really, really helpful. And when I was online buying that, of course, I was browsing other things. I bought it from um, a shop called Spiffy that sells all sorts of things that help with your uh, mental well-being. And uh, so I couldn't help buying something else, which was this little uh, box of mm, relaxation, I suppose. Relaxation. So you can see the inside, so the lovely words on the card inside. And then a little candle holder and some candles. And each candle takes 20 minutes to burn down. And the idea is that you just light the candle and you sit and you have a 20 minute break doing nothing apart from just looking at the candle. And oh, it's it feels like a real luxury. And it is, well, I do find it very, very relaxing. I don't know, it just helps to clear my mind and slow me right down. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so that's uh, some of the things I've been doing recently to, to slow myself down and to stop myself from spiralling into some kind of panic and rushing around, you know, not being as efficient as I could be. I thought I would share with you the noticing walk that I went on the other day. And uh, I also, also um, found some interesting facts about tree bark as well that I thought I'd share with you as well. So here we go. Come on this little walk with me. So oh, I hope you enjoyed coming on that little noticing walk with me. When you uh, start to actually look closely at bark, it's absolutely fascinating. All the different uh, 
barks for different trees and even within the same species of tree it changes the way it changes over time it's it's really amazing stuff that you can quite easily pass by and you know it's all brown and normal and it just yeah it's, it's it's great you just stop and look so i hope you've enjoyed slowing down a little bit with me today and and i do hope that your week ahead is going to be just at a nice steady pace but remember to keep taking good care of yourself so that life doesn't become too hectic <laughs> Right, okay then, so I will be back next week with another shortish podcast uh, that um, that will go out while I'm away and after that I will have a little camper van trip to share with you and also a little trip to the Lake District that I'm going on with my mum and I'm looking forward to sharing both of those with you. So yeah, I'm just going to say goodbye and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Thank you.